according to Mark. And Jesus said, From the beginning of creation God made them, male and female. For this reason a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined with his wife, and the two shall become one. So they are no longer two but one. Therefore, what God has joined together, no human being must separate. The Gospel of our Lord. Please be seated. Again, on behalf of Kristen and Todd, I want to welcome you to this very special and sacred moment in their lives. And there have been many moments that are sacred. Today is right up there with the top. I was trying to come up with a football analogy and was struggling to do that since that's where they met. They have a game tomorrow, by the way. But Todd did say they probably weren't playing. Maybe it'll be rain now. Probably. <laughs> it is a privilege for all of us to gather with you this day in a special and sacred moment. As we hear in scripture and we've heard from writers and theologians, you know, we believe that this sacred bond and covenant of love was established by God at the very beginning of creation. It's like his covenant of love with us. His unconditional love, the love that is you, the gift of life and love, that, it, that precious gift that was given to your parents just a few years ago, I'm sure it seems, in their minds. But it was. It was a precious gift from God that was entrusted to their love and their nurturing. And that love, unconditionally given by God, is, is what is proclaimed this day. Shane just read from St. Paul's letter to the Corinthians, which I believe is probably one of the greatest tributes to love in all of writing, but certainly in Scripture. It is a love that is giving and nurturing. There's nothing selfish about that love. And what it's saying is that the more that you give of your love to each other, the more alive you're going to become. It's one of those paradoxes that the more we give of ourselves, the more we receive. But what a beautiful paradox, that the more you give of your love to each other, the more that love is going to be mirrored back. And that's how that oneness that scripture talks about, this unity candle symbolizes the uniqueness and the beauty of your lives, that light is the radiance of your life, the light of all of your family and friends have been so privileged to share watch and grow to mature and beautiful people. And so that radiance of your light, you're not giving that up. You're not giving up the beauty of your lives, but you're bringing that together into an even more beautiful relationship. And scripture talks about the two becoming one. It's one in heart and mind and soul. That oneness of being and oneness of hope for tomorrow and the future. It's no longer individual. Share that gift of God's love for the rest of your lives together. And that's the beauty of that. And all of these people have been privileged to share that. You know, I'm sure you do, that we believe that Jesus' very first miracle, or at least written in Scripture, was at the wedding, the wedding feast of Cain and Yahweh. And so his very first miracle, where he turned that ordinary water into the finest of was that a wedding, a celebration that he had 